asking and never get bored of posing. This way, we get to revive the mission of working for this deen. What have you done for the deen of Allah? You have to be honest with yourself. Search for the most important concerns you carry in this dunya. You are not created but to worship Allah and to obey Allah. Allah said, I created people just, I created people and jinn just to worship me. So this is the purpose behind your creation and this is how you fulfill it. First step, carry the concern for this deed in your heart. Try to make it your priority and never stop thinking of it. Make it the engine that moves your emotions and motives. It's impossible for a person to act for something he doesn't believe or carry in his heart. So carry the concern for this deed in your heart in order to move forward. Second step, dedicate some of your time to at least an hour daily to learn the deed of Allah Azza wa Jal so you can understand the deed the right way. Learn it on the hands of the true people of knowledge. You must dedicate some of your time for Allah. You can't give victory for something you are ignorant of. Third step, now you carry the concern for this deed in your heart and you learned about it. Now you must turn these feelings and this knowledge you learn into practice on the grounds and into the way and into a way of life. Fourth step, once you do all the above, you have to do the following. Invite others to this deed you carry and know about and act upon. Carry this light to others. Don't be like an artificial rose, only looks good but has no smell and no one can benefit from. Be like a natural rose that gives its fragrance to that gives its fragrance to everyone. And the Muslim sister should also move forward as well and spread the light and fragrance to the other Muslim sisters. I don't want to end this without giving you some hope. My beloved brothers and sisters, Wallahi the future is for this deed. I don't say this out of emotions or deception, but I say it and I am sure of it because Allah told us that most surely we help our apostles and those who believe in this world's life and on the day when witness shall stand. The future is for this deed and the darkest part of the night is one right before the light of Fajr. The decisive point and the end, the decisive point at the end, brothers and sisters, isn't the magnitude of the falsehood, but rather the might of the truth and no doubt that we have the truth for which Allah created the heavens and earth and Jannah and fire and for which he sent the messenger and the books with them. This is the promise of Allah and it will come regard regardless of everyone wants. May Allah give us tawfiq and success. May Allah give us victory and patience. وقولوا قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم صلى الله على نبينا محمد وآخر دعوانا إلى الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته.